The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a collaborative project between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, represents a leap forward in our ability to observe the universe. Scheduled for launch in December 2021, the JWST is designed to build on the successes of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, while offering unprecedented capabilities in infrared astronomy. Its primary mirror, boasting a diameter of 6.5 meters, 21.3 feet, will collect more light than any space telescope before it, enabling scientists to observe some of the earliest galaxies formed after the Big Bang, study the atmospheres of exoplanets, and peer through cosmic dust to uncover new insights into star formation and galaxy evolution. Infrared astronomy, the specialty of the JWST, allows astronomers to observe celestial objects that are obscured by gas and dust in visible light. By detecting the heat radiation emitted by objects in space, the JWST can study phenomena ranging from the birth of stars in dense molecular clouds to the complex atmospheres of distant exoplanets. The telescope's suite of scientific instruments includes cameras and spectrometers optimized for infrared wavelengths, enabling detailed observations across a wide range of astronomical targets. One of the most anticipated capabilities of the JWST is its ability to study exoplanet atmospheres. By analyzing the light passing through an exoplanet's atmosphere as it transits in front of its host star, scientists can determine the composition of gases present. This method, known as transmission spectroscopy, has already been successfully employed by the Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based observatories to detect elements like hydrogen, helium, and water vapor in the atmospheres of distant planets. The JWST's enhanced sensitivity and resolution promise to expand this research, potentially identifying molecules indicative of biological activity, such as oxygen and methane. Another groundbreaking feature of the JWST is its capability to observe the early universe. By detecting the faint light emitted by the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, the telescope will provide insights into the conditions that led to the birth of stars and galaxies. These observations are crucial for testing theories of cosmological evolution and understanding the fundamental processes that shaped the universe's structure over billions of years. In addition to its scientific objectives, the JWST represents a technological marvel in space engineering. Operating at a location called the second Lagrange point, L2, approximately 1.5 million kilometers, 0.93 million miles from Earth, the telescope will orbit the Sun in synchrony with our planet. This stable orbit minimizes interference from Earth's atmosphere and thermal radiation, ensuring precise observations across its lifespan. The JWST's instruments are equipped with state-of-the-art cooling systems to maintain their detectors at extremely low temperatures, allowing them to detect faint infrared signals with unparalleled sensitivity. The development of the JWST has been a complex and ambitious endeavor, requiring international collaboration and cutting-edge engineering. The telescope's construction involved contributions from thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians across multiple countries each playing a crucial role in its design, assembly, and testing. From the deployment of its sunshield to the alignment of its segmented mirror, every aspect of the JWST's development has been meticulously planned to maximize its scientific potential and operational efficiency. The JWST's mission timeline encompasses a series of intricate maneuvers and calibration procedures designed to ensure its instruments perform optimally. Following its launch aboard an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana, the telescope will undergo a journey of several weeks as it travels to its final destination at L2. Once there, the JWST will deploy its sunshield, unfold its mirror segments, and initiate a series of comprehensive tests to verify its functionality and alignment. These tests, which include focusing the telescope and calibrating its instruments, are critical for achieving the JWST's scientific objectives and confirming its readiness for observations. Throughout its operational phase, the JWST will conduct a wide range of scientific investigations aimed at addressing fundamental questions about the universe's origins, evolution, and composition. By studying distant galaxies, planetary systems, and stellar nurseries, astronomers hope to uncover new insights into the processes that govern cosmic phenomena and shape the universe as we know it today.
One of the key scientific goals of the JWST is to study the formation and evolution of galaxies throughout cosmic history. By observing galaxies at different stages of development, from the earliest proto-galaxies to mature galaxies like our Milky Way, astronomers can trace the pathways through which galaxies acquire their distinctive shapes, sizes, and compositions. The JWST's ability to detect infrared radiation will enable researchers to peer through cosmic dust and observe star-forming regions hidden from view in visible light, shedding light on the mechanisms that drive galaxy growth and transformation over billions of years. In addition to galaxies, the JWST will investigate the formation and evolution of stars within our own Milky Way and beyond. By studying the birthplaces of stars in dense molecular clouds, and observing their life cycle from infancy to supernova explosions, astronomers can gain insights into the physical processes that govern stellar formation and evolution. The telescope's high-resolution cameras and spectrographs will provide detailed images and spectra of stellar nurseries, allowing scientists to analyze the chemical composition of stars and the environments in which they form. Another area of research enabled by the JWST is the study of planetary systems beyond our solar system known as exoplanets. With thousands of exoplanets discovered to date, astronomers are eager to learn more about their diversity, distribution, and potential for habitability. The JWST's infrared capabilities will allow scientists to analyze the atmospheres of rocky planets and gas giants alike, searching for signs of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other molecules that could indicate the presence of conditions favorable for life. The search for extraterrestrial life is a central theme of JWST's exoplanet research program. By focusing on planets within the habitable zones of their stars, regions where conditions may be suitable for liquid water to exist on the surface, the telescope aims to identify planets that could potentially support life as we know it. Detecting biosignatures such as oxygen and methane in exoplanet atmospheres would provide compelling evidence of biological activity marking a significant milestone in humanity's quest to understand our place in the universe. Beyond exoplanets, the JWST will contribute to our understanding of the solar system's outer reaches, including the study of comets, asteroids, and Kuiper belt objects. By observing these icy bodies with its infrared instruments, the telescope will provide insights into their composition, structure, and origins. These observations are critical for unraveling the mysteries of planetary formation and the early history of our solar system. In addition to its scientific objectives, the JWST's legacy extends to the technological advancements and engineering innovations it has pioneered. The telescope's segmented mirror design, composed of 18 hexagonal segments coated with gold to maximize infrared reflectivity, represents a breakthrough in mirror technology. Each mirror segment can be individually controlled and aligned using a complex system of actuators and motors, allowing the telescope to achieve unparalleled precision and image clarity. Furthermore, the JWST sunshield, a five-layered membrane the size of a tennis court, plays a crucial role in protecting the telescope from solar radiation and maintaining its operating temperature. By minimizing thermal fluctuations, the sunshield ensures that the telescope's sensitive instruments can achieve the stable conditions necessary for infrared observations. The deployment and operation of the sunshield represent a significant engineering challenge, requiring precise coordination and testing to ensure its effectiveness throughout the JWST's mission. The JWST's scientific legacy will be measured not only by the discoveries it makes, but also by the new questions it raises and the pathways it opens for future exploration. By pushing the boundaries of infrared astronomy and expanding our observational capabilities, the telescope will enable scientists to address fundamental questions about the universe's origins, evolution, and ultimate fate. From the formation of the first galaxies to the search for signs of life on distant worlds, the JWST promises to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. Looking ahead, the JWST is expected to operate for at least 10 years during which time it will conduct a comprehensive survey of the infrared universe. By observing a diverse range of astronomical targets, from nearby star-forming regions to the most distant galaxies, the telescope will generate a wealth of data that will keep astronomers busy for decades to come. This data will be made publicly available, enabling researchers around the world to analyze and interpret the observations, fostering collaboration and advancing our collective understanding of the universe. 
In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope represents a triumph of human ingenuity and international collaboration. From its advanced infrared instruments to its complex deployment and operational procedures, every aspect of the telescope has been meticulously planned and executed to maximize its scientific potential. By studying galaxies, stars, exoplanets, and the solar system's outer reaches, the JWST will provide unprecedented insights into the cosmos and expand our understanding of the universe's vast and intricate tapestry. The James Webb Telescope has been our eye in the sky, peering into the depths of space to bring the cosmos closer to home. Its lens has unraveled the impossible, pushing the boundaries of science. During one of its movements, the James Webb Telescope revealed an image of Proxima b, our closest exoplanet neighbor, captured in detail. But something unexpected happened. What could it be, and what mysteries does the James Webb Telescope have to solve? Stay with us as we unravel the story behind this image and the sudden silence of humanity's greatest space observatory, the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was specifically designed to revolutionize the field of infrared astronomy. Equipped with cutting-edge high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments, it surpasses the capabilities of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, by enabling the observation of objects that were previously inaccessible due to their age, distance, or faintness. This groundbreaking capability opens up a vast array of research opportunities in various areas of astronomy and cosmology. Astronomers have made an incredible discovery and have identified what could potentially be six massive galaxies from the very early stages of the universe. These objects are so large that, if confirmed, they have the potential to completely revolutionize our understanding of how galaxies form and evolve. These findings utilize data gathered by the powerful James Webb Space Telescope's infrared sensing instruments, providing a glimpse of what the universe looked like a staggering 13.5 billion years ago, when it was just 3% of its current age. What is truly mind-boggling is that these potential galaxies, which may have existed only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, already exhibited a level of maturity comparable to that of our own 13-billion-year-old Milky Way galaxy today. The sheer mass of stars within each of these objects is estimated to be several billion times greater than that of our Sun. According to the research, one of these galaxies could potentially have a mass of stars equivalent to a staggering 100 billion times that of our Sun. This discovery serves as a stark reminder of the immense scale and complexity of the universe, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the early stages of galactic evolution and challenging our preconceived notions of how galaxies come into being. The implications of this research are profound. When Erica Nelson, an astrophysicist at the University of Colorado Boulder and a co-author of the study, expressed her surprise at the discovery of galaxies with as many stars as the Milky Way appearing so quickly, she highlighted the incredible nature of these findings. An exoplanet, a celestial body located outside of our solar system, has been discovered in the Centauri B star system. This exoplanet is an incredible 11 times more massive than Jupiter the largest planet in our solar system. The Centauri B star system consists of two stars orbiting a common center of mass and is located approximately 325 light years away from Earth. Centauri B is one of the most massive planets ever identified, orbiting two stars significantly heavier than our Sun, with a combined mass 6 to 10 times greater. Additionally, Centauri B is known to be the hottest star system that hosts a planet. The two Centauri B stars, also known as Centauri A and Centauri B, are relatively young in cosmic terms, around 15 million years old. In comparison, our Sun, a G-type main sequence star, has been shining for over 4.5 billion years, making it significantly more mature. Despite their youth, the Centauri stars have already gone through various stages of stellar evolution, shaping their characteristics and influencing their future development. Researchers were initially anticipating the discovery of small, young galaxies in the early stages of the universe's development. Dr. Evelab, the lead researcher of the study from Swinburne University of Technology in Australia, described these galaxies as monsters that seem to have rapidly matured. The mystery of how these galaxies reached such maturity at such a fast pace remains unanswered, leaving scientists intrigued and eager to delve deeper into this phenomenon. They discovered Proxima Centauri near the Centauri B star. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star located just over four light years away from Earth, 
known for its frequent and intense flares of radiation. These bursts of stellar energy have the potential to significantly impact the conditions on any planet orbiting the star. The radiation emitted during these flares could strip away the protective layer of gases that allow life to thrive, potentially posing a threat to any life forms that may exist on the planet. Despite these challenges, the possibility of Proxima Centauri be hosting an environment conducive to life has captured the interest and excitement of scientists and astrobiologists alike. The potential for liquid water to exist on the planet, along with its location within the habitable zone of its star, makes Proxima Centauri a tantalizing target for further study. Using sophisticated computer models similar to those used to analyze climate change on Earth, scientists have discovered that Proxima Centauri can maintain vast expanses of liquid water on its surface across various scenarios. This exciting development significantly bolsters the chances of the exoplanet being able to support diverse forms of life. Now, using climate models, scientists have explored potential conditions on Proxima Centauri b. Could be a planet covered in ice, partially or completely, or a large planet with vast oceans or smaller bodies of water. There is also the possibility of regions with only dry land. Some models even suggest the existence of unique features like icy balls or lobster-shaped areas with liquid water, resembling claws sprouting from the equator. Moreover, scientists speculate about a subsurface ocean beneath a thin, slushy ice cover that may vary in thickness across different locations. By using climate models, scientists have been able to explore the potential conditions on Proxima Centauri b and consider a wide range of possibilities for this distant exoplanet. Proxima Centauri b faces challenges when it comes to its habitability due to the strong UV radiation and X-rays emitted by its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet receives much higher levels of radiation compared to Earth, which can cause atmospheric evaporation and potentially impact its habitability. However, even if the planet's atmosphere is substantially altered, it does not necessarily mean that life cannot exist there. Life might still find a way to thrive in such conditions, albeit potentially different forms with unique adaptations. The potential habitability of Proxima Centauri b remains an intriguing and complex topic for scientists to explore further. Given the existing limitations of current telescope technology, astronomers have been unable to conclusively determine whether Proxima Centauri b is habitable.